In this video, we're going to talk about the plasma membrane. The plasma membrane of cells is made up of something called phospholipids. And here is a typical structure of a phospholipid. The phospholipid is made up of three subunits. It has a phosphate group, a glycerol molecule, and two fatty acid cells. The head of the phospholipid is the phosphate group, and it's polar, which means that it's hydrophilic. Hydro means water, phil means love, so it loves water. The tails are nonpolar, and so they are hydrophobic. They don't like water. They tend to stay away from water. So what we have here is known as the phospholipid bilayer, which makes up the cellular membrane. On the inside of the cell is an aqueous environment an environment that contains water. And the same is true on the outside of the cell. I mean, on the outside of the cell, rather. Notice that the heads of the phospholipids are oriented in such a way that they're facing water. It's because that they're polar. They're attracted to it. Whereas the interior are the tails of the phospholipids, and they're directed away from water because that region is hydrophobic. It's nonpolar. So that's the structure of the phospholipid bilayer. It's made up of phospholipids, and that comprises the cellular membrane or the plasma membrane. Now let's talk about the structure of the phospholipid. So the phospholipid, as we said before, it's made up of a glycerol molecule. And it contains two fatty acid nonpolar tails. In this example, the first fatty acid, which is this one here, is a saturated fatty acid because it doesn't have any double bonds. The second one is an unsaturated fatty acid because it has a double bond. Now the third part is the phosphate group. The phosphate group is attached to two carbons, which is also attached to a nitrogen atom with three other methyl groups on it. The nitrogen atom has a positive formal charge, and this oxygen has a negative formal charge. So that's the typical structure of a phosphate, I mean, a phospholipid. So this part here is the head of the phospholipid. That is the polar part. As you can see by the formal charges, it's going to be attracted to water. So it has a phosphate group, two carbons, and a trimethyl amine group. Well, this is technically an ammonium group since there's four carbons attached to that nitrogen atom. And these two fatty acid chains that are part of the phospholipid, that is the hydrophobic part of the molecule. So those are the two tails. That's the part that is oriented away from water. And in the middle, we have a glycerol molecule. I'm not sure what just happened there. So keep that in mind. The phospholipid is composed of a phosphate group, a glycerol molecule, and two fatty acid chains. The plasma membrane of a cell is described by the fluid mosaic model. The cell membrane is fluid in that the phospholipids and the proteins that are embedded in this membrane, they're free to move. They can move sideways, forwards, backwards. They're in motion among a sea of particles. Now what we have here is called an integral protein because it's embedded in the cellular membrane. This here is a peripheral protein because it extends on the exterior of the membrane. And you can call this one a surface protein because it lies on the surface of the membrane.
Now on the cell membrane, you'll find carbohydrates attached to proteins. When you see that, this is called a glycoprotein. Glyco for carbohydrate and then protein, you know what that is. So that's a glycoprotein. Now, when a carbohydrate is attached to a lipid, in this case, a phospholipid, this is going to be called a glycolipid. Now, on the cell membrane, cholesterol can also be found in it. Cholesterol has a hydroxyl group represented in blue, and it has four fused rings. So that's a typical representation of cholesterol. The purpose of cholesterol on a cell membrane is to maintain the fluidity of the membrane. When a temperature goes down, the membrane will become rigid. The phospholipids will move closer to each other as the temperature decreases. So the fluidity of the membrane decreases. Cholesterol acts to increase the fluidity. So as these phospholipids move closer to each other under colder conditions, cholesterol acts as a spacer, keeping them pushed apart. Now when the temperature rises, the membrane can become too fluid. So cholesterol acts in such a way to decrease the fluidity of the membrane. So it keeps the phospholipids together when the temperature rises. So the purpose of cholesterol is to maintain the fluidity of the membrane. It prevents it from being too rigid and it keeps it from being too fluid. So that's the basics of the plasma membrane of a cell. There's more to talk about it, but I just want to give you a brief introduction into it.